WWE2K22, my GM against my brother. Ladies and gentlemen, put your hoods up, get the drip out. It is time for another drippy video. What is good, everybody? I am drippy, but you can call me Troy, and I'm here with my brother. Say what's up. What's up? And we are playing my GM. Just, just to let you guys know, I have minimal, minimal like experience in my GM. I've done like a week, and he hasn't even Never seen the mode. He hasn't even seen the mode. <laughs> So this is going to be interesting. I'm just, I just want to say that. It's going to be interesting. If you're new, be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and let's get into the video. All right, we are at the GM screen. I'm going to pick first, and then I, based off of my pick, I can then choose to go against a player, and then I can choose a player, and then he can choose his GM. I don't know who I'm going to go with, so I'm just going to look at each GM. My gut's telling me William, but I'm going to go Adam. I think I think this one's like the second best. I think the morale one's good, but this one's solid. I'm gonna go instigator, Adam Pierce. I'm gonna go I'm gonna go raw. I, I am gonna go raw. Alright, so look, so now here's where I pick a human and who do you want? And what brand do you want? Hey. Yeah, Sonya. Sonya? Sonya? Yeah. Raising Terry's roster morale by fit plus 15. Okay, so now we got opposing brand. This one be nice SmackDown. Guy. Yeah. Uh, we are going to go 50 weeks. So this is going to be a hefty one. All right. And we are here with the draft of rules. Each GM will start with a budget of 2.75. GMs will take turns drafting one after the other, starting with player one. There will be eight rounds of drafting after, after the eighth round drafting becomes optional. GMs can opt out or draft until they are out of cash. DMs can press the right stick button to get recommendations on who to draft. You can also press X to get more information about the superstar. Night Raw, ready to make their so I draft spin. first. Bro, bro, I and I just want to say that this has been a long time coming. First WW2K22 video was the tutorial and a match that I played. And if you know, that match was Kevin Owens versus Roman Reigns. Kevin Owens is my first draft pick. Let's go. Now you should. It should. You should be able to control it now. Yeah. All right. What's your thought process? You know, I've had my eye on somebody I can't <laughs> seem to find. <laughs> I got the search in my bro. Hmm. It is definitely Kofi. Kofi? Okay. Kofi. Kevin Owens for Raw. Kofi for SmackDown. My next draft pick is going to be none other than Finley. Too sweet, Balor. I think I think I'm gonna go with that. Finley. Too sweet, Balor. Take Walter. I like that. I like the Walter pick. I like the Walter pick. Just to think about this right now, we have a face Owens. We have a heel. Then, now we're gonna have a face Big E. Let's do it. I like, I like that. I like that. Definitely go with heel Tomasa. Tomasa Tampa. Tampa. And Randy Orton is that guy. I'm not gonna lie to you. Randy Orton is that guy. Yeah, I'm gonna go Keith. Keith, that's a good pick. That's a good pick. I'm going to choose Samoa Joe for my sixth pick in the draft. Boom. Alright. No Moving on to the women's division on a raw. We're going to start with Sasha and Banks. Yes, sir. <laughs> I was thinking about but, Bianca. I was thinking about Bianca. But I was I'm taking Bianca. Okay. Okay. I'm gonna go with Tamina. I'm gonna stop. I'm gonna stop going after class synergies this next round. I'm gonna focus on just face and heal uh, combos. Yeah. My next pick for Raw is going to be Liv Morgan. I'm about out of money though. Okay, okay, okay. And I'm gonna have to pick Asuka. I dropped. I dropped the bag for Asuka, but I think it was worth it. Okay. That is going to be it for the draft. I have Asuka, Finn Balor, Big E, Sasha, Cesaro, Kevin Owens, Randy Orton, Samoa Joe, Liv Morgan, and Tamina on the Raw roster. Let me confirm my... I'm going to confirm the end of the draft. 
There you have it, Cesaro, Biggie, all those guys. Yeah, I already just said their names. So, I go to SmackDown side of it. Who do you have, my brother? Now, Walter, Bianca Belair, Shane Baszler, Bailey, Kobe this way a little bit. Masa Ciampa, Riddle, Carmella, Keith Lee, and Sami Zayn. Go ahead and do that. Options? Yeah, yeah. And then confirm. Boom, and there is the SmackDown roster. That's amazing. Yeah, I, I think we I think we both got some fire rosters. Yeah. Just a side by side comparison. I kinda like that they did a side by side. Yeah, that's fine. First week of my GM. Providence, Rhode Island. Four weeks until WrestleMania and Triple H is dialing my phone. He wants to text me. I'm like, yo, what's good, Triple H? What's good, big trips? Yo, tonight's the night, the debut show. Now I'm trolling. <laughs> <laughs> we, <laughs> I can't do it. We have high hopes for you. You know what I'm gonna say? I was born for this. Hey, Adam. Good. We've gone ahead and added 50k to the war chest. I needed that 50k, I'm not gonna lie. So, on the raw oh. brand, we are going to select our champion. Or, we are going to select our champion. There we go. And I honestly am stuck right now. <laughs> because, I mean, dog, Kevin Owens is like my guy. Cesaro is also my say, guy. Those probably, those would be Finn awesome. is my guy. Samoa is also my guy. You know what I'm saying? But I want to give the title to Samoa Joe. That's going to be my champion. And uh, this is the most biased thing I've ever done. Liv Morgan is my champion. <laughs> <laughs> Liv Morgan. Liv Morgan can be my champion. <laughs> Yo, chill your wallet right now. <laughs> no, no, no. Samoa Joe. <laughs> Samoa Joe is the WWE Champion. Liv Morgan is the WWE Women's Champion. WWE Raw Women's Champion, my, my apologies. Let's confirm our selections. Boom. So, I think I book my show, and then you, then it goes to you, and then you can uh, select your champions, and then book your show. Right, so. Raw Week 1. Opener match. First, I want to go to the promo, and I want to heel turn. Who is it? Asuka. I want to heel turn Asuka. Boom. There we go. Save promo. Oh, wait. That's self promo. Roll change. Boom. There we go. All right. Opener match. What is the opening banger that we want to put on for the fans? I'm going to uh, give the opener to... I don't want it to be a women's title match opener, but... I think I'm gonna do it. So the thing about this though is I do want it. I did want it to be Oscar, but I'm gonna have to roll change, and then this is setting up the Oscar. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna make it a title match. So I have at least one Hell in a Cell match this week. Oh, he's wilding right now. So triple. A, so uh -huh. you you go here and you if you meet the commissioner goal, you get the power card right. So now power cards, so as you can see right here instigator it increases it so what you have to do is you have to go here and you have to select it yeah so like right now if i selected this three of your superstars wouldn't be able to be booked i'm not gonna do that to you right now <laughs> first week. but like yeah yeah first week is crazy i don't have an active rivalry yet and then as you can see there's the store and then you can buy those yeah and then right here this is where you sign Ooh, legends fire boom brett brett's brett will be a solid so how signing. are we gonna do this uh i'm not sure yet i haven't thought about it I, like, go ahead. Who would, uh, well, we'll just count John as. Yeah, we might as well count John's John a as legend. a legend. Yeah. Damon Shelton. Oh my goodness. Yeah, th yeah. This has this has some solid ones. But I'll say the legends. We'll just do like the two. Yeah. Legends you know what I think? I think I think uh, the free agents along with the legends might change every week. I'm not sure, but I feel like that might be how it is because. The roster, the, the free agent roster is a lot bigger than this. I want to show you this too. So, you go here to book like bigger, uh, bigger arena, bigger crew, bigger special effects, and then each of these is available after a certain week. You know what I'm saying? So keep that in mind. Liv Morgan versus Tamina is the opener of the show. Next up, I want to put Phineas. Mm, I think I'm gonna put Phineas. <laughs> Phineas and Biggie. I'm trying to click Biggie. Oh, my my controller bugged out for a second there. Love that. 
for like I I never really thought of like even think about his name it used to be Biggie Langston. Yeah, Biggie Langston. Yep. Whenever he would run around with Dolph and uh, AJ Lee. So I I'm gonna make you know what I'm gonna make the title match you know make the title match my thing. So running out on Finn is his longtime friend, former teammate Kevin Owens. Your boy. Hold up. First things first. Okay, so that does give me a uh, room. Boom. Using a running will limit your match options. Only simulating. Would you like to continue? Of course. Uh, I don't mind. You know what I'm so we only have one woman left, and we're just gonna do a self promo. She's gonna, she's gonna advertise. She's gonna get us our bag. You know what I'm saying? What does advertising actually do? Generates extra revenue with a chance of lowering the superstar popularity. Okay. That kind of sucks if she has a poor performance and her popularity goes down, but it's okay. So, off the rip, Dizzle. Stamina very high. Look at this. 35,000 cost, stamina very high. Samoa. Bizarro. Title match. Interference. Oh, okay, okay. So Randy's gonna run in and attack Samoa Joe. Only reason I'm doing that is so Randy Orton actually has something to do. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. This is the week one Raw show booking. We got Liv Morgan opening the show against Tamina. We got Asuka following that up with a with a role change promo. She is about to turn her back on you guys. Next up, we have Finn Balor versus Big E with Kevin Owens running in. Next up, we have Sasha Banks following that up with an advertising promo we need that bag you know what i'm saying and following that up is the main event of the evening the mojo versus cesaro in a hell in a cell for the wwe championship and randy orton is saying look i may run in on you i may not you know what i'm saying i don't know how he's going to get in the ring because that's a hell in a cell but maybe it's a post-match run-in i don't know all i know is that we officially have to simulate it because it's a run-in. Yeah. Let's confirm our booking and let's move on to SmackDown's week one. Go. Boom. Firm. And now it is your turn, my brother. Oh, let's see. Let's see. All right. So we have Triple H hitting your line now saying the same thing. This dude's a snake. Were you also born for this? Oh. I think you were too. I appreciate it. <laughs> yeah. It's Dallas in the background. My champion. The men's, the SmackDown Universal Champion. Who will he be? Who are we thinking? Yeah, Kofi or Walter? Kofi or Walter? I like those two choices too. We're gonna start out with Kofi though. Kofi is the Universal Champion of SmackDown. Who is the smackdown woman's it's, champion it's, it's bianca bianca is the smackdown woman's champion i like that yes sir i like i like the smackdown brand so far so yes and i go over there and he'll tell you what rest your current champions this week are you kidding me that's kind of ass i mean you don't have to do it but yeah you get stuff if you do it like you get that uh power card what do we want to do let me get my first match out of here one on one. Kick it off with. I just want to let you know that uh, you have a power card right now that makes all your superstars' popularity go up six. Oh hell! I can do interference. I can do regular one on one. Self promo. Wait. Am I champion? Technically, promo? yeah. You get. You could. You could double self promo. And they have good popularity, yeah. so it could go over well. Long term, definitely long term booking though. Yeah. Compared to mine, fucking, he told me to hell in a cell, <laughs> week one. Right now. Yeah. Get ready. It kind of works out for you, too. That. You want contenders match though. That could you you could do that. But. Who do you put in it? Exactly. Definitely Walter. Mm -hmm. It's just so tempting. 
<laughs> but I don't want to have it. But I'm going to do it anyways. No more yeah. contender match. All right, so actually, look, it says you're it says you're failing the commissioner goal, so I think you can't put him in a promo. Can't these two. Or no, let's do. No, you can do a call out and have her and somebody else in the other. Uh, or is there another woman in there? There should be one more. Yep. Oh, but she's fighting. Oh, yeah, she is. No, 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 no. You had Bailey. You're telling her. Oh, no, you're right. Bailey, Carmella. Oh, yeah, I don't have another female. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. Yeah, just do that then. That sucks. <clears throat> you need to advertise it, like you did. Yeah. Walter. So we're going to do regular one on one. Tampa. Yeah. <clears throat> Keith. Nice, nice. I like that. GM interference mm. is typical. <clears throat> is this who she's like interfering with? Yeah. She's like, yeah. So, like, Randy Orton is gonna interfere and like attack Kevin Owens. Right here, it's gonna be Riddle, just a self promo. Yep. All right, now before you book, explain it, explain your thought process, all that. So, you know, right here, we just have to have, kick off the show with something slay. Yep. Carmella, Bella, mm -hmm. Bailey, not Bella. <laughs> Bailey. <laughs> Dude, know. I went along with it. I was like, yeah, you're right. <laughs> Bring in some money from Shayna, because she's that girl. She got, she got it like that. She's and really like, like this that. This match is kind of fire. Like... I'm playing Keith Trump Lee is a Keith. banger. And we couldn't have Riddle sitting on the sidelines all week. Number one contenders match. Winner will face Kofi soon. Mm, so I, I like that. I like that. And, uh, you know, he had to rest. He didn't have to rest his champions, but it, is, it was a commissioner goal. You get power cards with power cards help. So that's why he didn't put any champions on the card. You can't even put him in a promo. So is that it for your booking? You're going to confirm it. I am confirming. Alrighty, here we go. Starting off, our GM mode, my GM, whatever you want to call it. This is the only match that I could spectate, but we're just going to stick with simulating yeah. for, this, for this week at least. Liv Morgan, Tamina, simulate. Let's see how Two, this goes. Three. Tamina, Tamina wins. Tamina beat wins. The champion. In a three star. Oh, three star match off, off the rip dizzle. I think Rip Dizzle is fire. I yeah, it is fire. Asuka, she is, she's turning her backs on you guys. How does that go over with the crowd? That's a good they heel turn. It. That's a good heel turn. I like that. We have Finley. What'd you call him? Phineas. <laughs> <laughs> we have Phineas Balor facing off against the Big E Langston. Talk about throwback. Yeah. Run in, uh, Kevin Owens, he's attacking Finley, Phineas, whatever you want to call him, and he is saying, look, bro, I want to fight you. Yeah, you're not You're not that guy, pal. Trust me, you're not that guy. You guys, if you could take okay. six You're feet. not that guy, pal. Trust me, you're not that guy. Okay. Yeah. Are you? Absolutely. Oh, Simulating the match, Finn Balor versus Biggie, and the winner of the match is Finn Finney. Balor, but you have to assume. Oh. Whoa. I think Owen, I think... Balor versus Big E is a banger. But that's just Owens and Balor. Yeah, it's because uh, Owens ran in. Oh, yeah. So that spiked the rivalry. So, two and a half star. Went from a three and a half opener to a two and a half star mid card. Let's hope we end it off with a banger like four star. But before we get to the main event, we have to get to the self promo. Not self promo. We have to get to the advertising of Sasha Banks. She is saying, Look, I'm a face. We want money here at Raw. We need the money here at Raw so we can pay for the bigger crowds, the special effects, the better crew, the better road crew, whatever you want to call it. I don't care what you want to call it. it, doesn't matter. But let's move on. Wow, I just. Ooh! Okay, so. It looks like she went down in 
stamina, I think, or maybe popularity. She went down in popularity, but... 11k. She gained us 11k. <clears throat> and as you can see, we needed that because the role change in itself from Asuka is 10,000. On, on top of the main event being 37,000, I hope my champion doesn't get hurt. I don't think he will. But main event time, Samoa Joe versus Cesaro, Randy running in on Samoa. Will he lose the title because of the run in? Will Samoa lose the title or will he come out on top? What? WWE Championship on the line and your winner is Cesaro. Let's go, baby. Four star. Four star. Randy Orton and Samoa Joe are starting their own rivalry, which leaves room for Cesaro versus Big E. Oh, yeah. For the title. Mm hmm. Four star match. That was a banger week of Raw. Yeah, it was a good week. Let's move on and get into SmackDown. We're starting off SmackDown with Carmella versus Bailey. We're not spectating or playing because, yeah. <laughs> you mean so, we're not spectating? We're simulating? You know what I meant. I know what you meant. Wait. Oh. All right. Anyways, <laughs> show opener: Carmella Bailey simulate. One, two. First match of SmackDown, and Bailey. it Bailey wins, one and a half star. Dude, they kind of they kind of like cut your legs from under you. Your your champions couldn't even uh, get anything. Ooh, that's 10, that's huge. And I gained more than you because your show costs like fifty thousand. I only cost it twenty five. That's true. That's very true. <laughs> it did literally only cost twenty five hundred. Yeah. Yo, you technically could play this one. How'd the jam interference go? I have no clue. Yeah. But we'll, we'll save that for another yeah, week. Yeah, yeah. Save it for another week. Tommaso Chapa versus Keith Lee. I'm expecting Two, a Keith Lee dub three. right here. And you got your Keith Lee W. With the GM interference. With the GM interference. Two starts. Long term storytelling. Chapa and uh Keith Lee are a new rivalry. The Riddler. <laughs> the Riddler. <Maddie> Matthew. <laughs> Maddie. <laughs> Maddie Riddler Rid. <laughs> Madly rid Riddler Riddle. He riddled the Riddle? Wait. <laughs> <laughs> right, well, Plus is, two stamina. Plus two, whatever that is. Alright. So this should be a good match. The only thing that is going against this match is the fact that they're not facing heel. But they work They work well together. Yeah, so I'm expecting a fire match for the first, number one contenders match. One, two, and who will your number one contender be? It is Walter. Walter fire. What a great match again. <laughs> the only thing that boosted my rating so well is the fact that I had a Hell in a Cell title match. The problem with the your on me, bro. The problem with your show is the fact that he cut your legs from under you. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, that was stupid. He said, "Yeah, he was like, look, bro, you can't, you can't even use your champions." Oh yeah, because Liv Morgan's your champion. Your opener and main event were the highlights of your show as they should be. Focus on raising the quality of your matches for higher show results. Moving on to SmackDown. I don't Okay, so let's let's look at this. So the only rivalry that really brewed or technically this one was brewing too. Um Morgan versus Tamina is officially a rivalry, and I think Evan uh Kevin Owens versus Phineas Balor is also a rivalry. <laughs> and that and then we obviously have the main event. Boom, we switch over. Now we have. Here's what yours. The main event was overshadowed by a more entertaining mid card, leaving fans disappointed at the end. Swapping these two matches would have created a more satisfying finish. Oh, wow. Only now they you know knew that. It was in a more contenders match. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> <laughs> if only they knew the real storytelling like, behind that's really it. Like 2.85, you know? Yeah. So Carmella and Bailey are a level one rivalry. Dana with the advertising. Tampa vs. Lee is a rivalry. Matthew Riddle with the self promo. Walter and Zayn are a rivalry. Whoa, that's that, not gonna work. Yeah, that kind of that's kind of tough. Maybe, maybe you should just not do the number contendership anymore. Yeah, I mean, technically you could though. My show quality was a D. It was uh, plus six out of thirty, I think. That's how that works. Um, we have match card quality was a B, so that's a plus. Star power bonus is plus twelve. Show bonus is nine. Ratings is ninety five. We were at. 652,000. We end up at 696,000. Thank you. Thank you, Sasha. You did, <laughs> you did us You did us good. I appreciate you. Yeah. Let's look at social media. Viking Sharpshooter LTD said, good show tonight. Holy crap. Kevin Owens just blindsided Finn Balor. Love that storytelling. Yeah, 
Tonight's Raw started strong and ended strong. I liked it. Okay, that promo by Sasha Banks was actually pretty good. <laughs> Why did your guys just go crazy? That was actually pretty good. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> I mean, it was, it was pretty good. <laughs> Cesaro's match was my favorite part of tonight's show. Can't deny Samoa Joe made the, ma made the match special. Tamina looking real good with the W over Liv Morgan. Hashtag Raw. Cesaro says, good effort, Joe, but a losing effort from just another loser. Dang. Mm. Cesaro is your new champion and just disrespected the former champion. That's what Randy said. Randy Orton enjoyed seeing Samoa Joe lose against Cesaro, who's a far more talented fighter. Dang. But giving respect to Cesaro, I feel like that, sh that wouldn't ever be said nowadays. Respect where it's due, Biggie says. Good match, Finn Balor. Dr. Show 96 says, can't believe Cesaro's a new champion. And about time, he's been looking stronger than Joe for weeks, as if we didn't just start week <laughs> one. Alright, well, technically. <laughs> 57,000 fan chains plus 57,000, and that's only like 10,000 less than yours. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Joe Carter was D, 6 out of 30. Well, the same as mine. Same as yours, somehow. Uh, show cost was only 2,500. The network deal payout was 18000 whatever that means. <laughs> Total budget, we're at 709666 <laughs> six, six, six. <laughs> No, bro. You didn't have to say it. <laughs> bro, I was eyeballing it like, don't say it, don't say it. All right. As you can see, um, he just read a bunch of numbers. Didn't even know what, what, what it was. He just read it. So, moving on to uh, the social media. Let's see what social media has to say. Raw Fiend 77 says, not impressed, SmackDown. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, that's messed up. Body Slam Big Boot Mega says, Chompa Body Punk. Slam Big Boot <laughs> Mega. Who said that? The DQ in this match ruined my night. My disappointment is immeasurable. <laughs> Dude, I'm so good at that. Body Slam. Someone jumped in to help Lee. You could tell it to. Oh. Oh. Good effort, Zane, but a losing effort from another loser, Walter, quoting Cesaro. <laughs> yeah, he's quoting Cesaro. <laughs> Big Cyborg Mania says, I don't know how to feel about Zane versus Walter. I didn't know who to boo strange. <laughs> Dang. <laughs> Dude. No, that's messed up. My mom said, what a fluke. Yo. Try me again, Bailey. It won't have to play. <laughs> Dude, socials are ruthless, bro. <laughs> I don't feel good. Mrs. Disaster 98 says, Tommaso Ciampa isn't looking happy out there. Wonder if something happened in the back. I think so. <laughs> Nominal chairman AU says, okay, that promo by Shano was actually pretty good. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Clap it up. Clap it up. Suplex Cyborg says so. Probably <laughs> Brock Lesnar, free agent. Walter Stone Cold says so. From Sammy Zayn. Could have gone either way. Hashtag SmackDown. <laughs> then Summer Fan in the Ring says, Riddle doing good work on the mic tonight. Kept the audience entertained. Yes, well, sir. Yes, sir. Somebody you had good promos. Good. You had good promos. The promos was fire. Three special event booking, effects booking, my bad. He's well, definitely accomplished was, the commissioner's goal. I don't think it was worth it at all. <laughs> yeah, I don't think it was either. But the good part about it is you have more money than me. Yep, 709, six repeating. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so here's the overall. Cesaro is the new WWE champion. Liv Morgan is the, is the still... You okay? I I'm looking full. <laughs> 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 Liv, <laughs> Liv Morgan is still a Raw Women's Champion. She didn't put it up or nothing, so that's good. Uh, moving on to SmackDown, Sonya Deville obviously is the GM. Uh, I don't know. I think that's a surprise. Uh, Kofi is the Universal Champion of SmackDown. Bianca is the SmackDown Women's Champion. They were not able to be shown off on SmackDown, probably because of Triple H me for no reason he just ruined my whole show but ruined his whole show next week i want to tell you the fan differential is not that bad it's not. you could easily come back from that but i'm not gonna make it easy that's gonna be it for the video guys i hope you guys enjoyed more than smackdown's fans enjoyed smackdown's show uh be a raw fan because you'll enjoy it over here <laughs> we actually book our champions in hell in a cell matches constantly um they're probably gonna get hurt, but you know, you gotta do what you gotta do for the entertainment and for the stars. Uh, Raw is on top right now. Uh, SmackDown is also in second place. Once again, I just wanted to say that. Um, he does have more money than me, so I guess uh, get your money up, not your funny up. Mm -hmm. But that's gonna be it for the video. Like, comment, subscribe if you are new. It's greatly appreciated, and I'll see you guys later. Peace. Yes, sir.